Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary where I do the research to try to teach you a little something about what you're drinking. And today we're actually going to be putting that slogan to the test. I'm going to go do some field research on the travel decanter from Aged and Ore. Now this is two stainless steel tumblers that hold a glass decanter. Now glass decanter for traveling, that got me thinking. So I'm probably not the only one who saw the Instagram videos that were kind of advertising this thing over the last couple months. And when I first saw it, I said, hey, you know what, I really want to get my hands on one of those and put it through its paces because a travel decanter for me, very, very useful thing, as long as it's not going to break and I know that it's a good quality. So I emailed Age Denor and I said, hey, would you guys be willing to send me one or a couple of these so I can kind of take it on a hike, you know, bang it around a bit and see if it's going to break. Now, to be fair, they make no claims that this thing's indestructible, but it is still contained within two stainless steel uh, tumblers. So it should hold up pretty well. And that's what I want to test. So actually they were nice enough to send me two of these, uh, one in case I break this one so I can still have one. And then they actually also sent me an additional glass insert. So I'm going to do a quick little unboxing. I'm going to put some chapters down below in case you want to skip any particular parts of this, but you know, this should be a pretty good video. So I'm going to do a quick little un unboxing so you can see what the product looks like. I'm going to take it out on a hike. It's like 10 degrees outside. There's snow on the ground. Should be a pretty good hike. I'm going to bring my camp stove with me and I'm going to make a hot toddy out in the middle of the woods. That's my goal for today. It's a very ambitious day. <laughs> so that is my plan. Let's get into the unboxing. And at the end of this video, I'll let you know whether I actually recommend this because for the moment, other than the fact that I just think it's a cool product, I don't really know. I don't know that this is going to be worthy of, of praise. I don't know that this is going to be worthy of a recommendation. So, all right. So here we go. It, uh, you know, the box is, it's a box, who cares? So this comes in a little cloth, uh, cloth bag to kind of probably prevent the stainless steel from any sort of scratching or whatever. So that's pretty cool. All right. So you got two stainless steel tumblers here. If I go ahead and open this up so it pulls apart, there's some tissue paper inside. So let me go ahead and just kind of move that off. So pull this out. The stain, uh, the tissue paper, I think is keeping it. Yeah, there we go. There was suction on the bottom. That makes sense, shipping things. I'll uh, put it back in in a sec just to prove that. All right, so let's go ahead and get all of this packaging material off just so we can see what we've got. All right, so we've got a glass decanter. This is pretty cool. It's 500 milliliters. Um, rubber stopper uh, with metal top. Fits in there pretty snug. Yeah, I don't think that's going anywhere. And then it fits inside. This does not twist. It pushes. And not bad. Okay. Well, it doesn't open on its own. That's good. All right. So, I mean, that's, I will say that's not super easy to take out but I suspect that will probably get easier as you use it. So let's go ahead and get into this thing. I'm gonna go wash this and then fill it up with some whiskey and get out and uh, go on a little hike. So I'll see you there in a minute. All right, so like I said, I'm just here at a random trail in the woods right here. This is just a dog trail, but it breaks off a little bit. Gonna go find a nice place to sit and make myself a hot toddy. I'll see you in a sec. All right, so I got the aged and ore here. I got out in the woods, um, you know, it's just snowy. It kind of sucks, <laughs> but whatever. I'm used to it here over in uh, Massachusetts. So this thing's obviously, I mean, it was, if it broke on this little bit, that would be ridiculous. But uh, one thing I said at the beginning is that this just kind of clamped together. It actually does, it does push together and then it also screws. So I've got my whiskey here. Actually, it's pretty warm uh, considering. So I filled it with George Remus. Uh, just figured I had a bunch of that. It's fairly cheap. And if something happened, I wouldn't be all that upset. So I'm going to get my camp stove going and we'll make a hot toddy. All right, water's done boiling. Got my whiskey here, got my water. So I'm just going to wing this. Uh, this will not be like the most perfect hot toddy ever made because if I was camping, I probably wouldn't be measuring anyway. So let's go ahead, take this out. Looks good. You do not have to take it out if you don't want to. Take out the guy here. So roughly an ounce and a half. So do 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 do. Yeah, that's about right. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. Who cares? Now, of course, because preparation is a thing, and I don't possess that kind of skill. Forgot to bring honey, but I do have some, you know, run-of-the-mill kind of 
lemon juice that you would find. This is not about my hot toddy making right now. This is about whether this thing is good for this use. So I'll put some lemon juice in there, and that's really it. I will tell you, if I was camping and I had both of these things on me, that would be better than most of the stuff I usually drink. Although, I will tell you, if you ever find spruce trees, throw that in your tea, really good stuff. I mean, like I said, this is not about the whiskey, but that is nice to have out here in the snow. <sighs> My hand is cold. <laughs> I forgot to bring water, so I had to put snow in here. And, uh, you know, I could have used the glove, but again, dumb. All right, let's go throw this thing around and try to break it. Cheers. All right, just got back from making my hot toddy <laughs> in the woods. It, uh, you know, proved that it can do what it's designed to do. It couldn't go with you in a backpack. It can make it there and it's not gonna break. So, just to prove to you guys right now, totally open, um, no cracks, no nothing. Let's get that back in there. And we are gonna do our first test called the whoops. That totally broke. Oh, no, it didn't. Huh. I really thought that broke. Now, I will say this little piece on the bottom came off, but it also dented, like, really bad. But the whiskey is totally fine, although shaken up. I really thought that noise was a shattering bottle. Hmm. Well... Let's see what more we can put this thing through. But that little piece is definitely off the bottom. You know what though? If I dropped a decanter full of whiskey and all that happened was that little piece, I would be relieved, honestly. Next, I am going to kick it because I'm gonna simulate what it's like to have a package delivered to your house. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make this land on camera so I'm not gonna kick it super hard. All right, let's see. All right, we are a little scuffed, but all in all, totally fine. Interesting. As far as I'm concerned, this thing is holding up to the test I was planning on putting it through. <laughs> Put a good dent in the side, let's see. Well, I didn't drop kick it as much as I did just kind of kick it, but actually this is exactly the kind of test I was hoping to do. See how that's dented in the side? I feel like, kind of a piercing would be the only thing that's really gonna make this break and still it's totally fine. One more test that I think is actually a reasonable scenario to have happen. I'm gonna put this on the tailgate of my truck, drive away and see what happens. All right, so still totally fine in there. I'm going to pretend that I forgot it was on my tailgate because I'm gonna go have a good time. So let's see what happens. This thing is dinged all to hell, but let's see. Oh, I think that's upside down. I can't even tell anymore. Oh, yep, <laughs> I had it right. All right, totally fine. I mean, those are ridiculous scenarios. I think this is a, a pretty good test. Let's go back to the, uh, to the studio and I'll talk about it. All right, so I think it's pretty clear. This thing is at least tough enough to deal with any sort of random mishap that might happen. Maybe not like 50 times, but I mean, I let's see. I. I dropped it, I kicked it three times, I dropped it off the back of the truck, and I just kind of took it with me on a normal hike in my backpack. Um, only thing that really was damaged are the, you know, some of the sides dented in where it hit the ground. These little end plates came off where the logo is, who cares? And all in all, the whiskey inside, totally fine. Not a crack, nothing. So I'm very impressed at how well this performed. I thought for sure I was gonna break it. In fact, I kind of wanted to just to see what the limit was. And you could probably tell by my face, I thought I broke it on that very first drop, which would have been a little anticlimactic, but oh well. Um, as far as I'm concerned, this gets my seal of approval. I mean, I did whatever I could. You guys saw the test I put it through. If this is something that you have a need for, I see absolutely no reason not to buy this. And I am gonna be doing an affiliate thing with them as well. 
I told them that if it passed my tests, I'd be happy to promote it on the channel. So um, down in the description below, if you want to buy one of these, then use that link. It gives me a little bit of a kickback. It also gives you guys 15% off. So um, I don't know what else there is more to say. This is just awesome. I'm very happy with this product. So thank you guys for joining me here on the Whiskey Dictionary, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Cheers.